Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now, I'm on here today because I want to show you something that I found last night that Valita did and I'm going to definitely put the link to her channel because I need, I'm need. i sorting my beads too and I have been doing for quite a while and I've been putting them in to bigger boxes and different little containers as you well know and I have heaps and heaps of them and all I'm doing is scratching all my hands to pieces digging in these pots can't get this one open unless I use the pliers <laughs> so I definitely want to be moving them into something different now um, moving them is not easy you know it's just not easy I've got um, mixed sometimes they get mixed up because you are going from one thing to the other I'm in Australia today and I forgot to tell you that I'm sorry I'm been a bit rude I'm getting on with this because I've been in here all morning playing <laughs> with my beads I'm trying to get these long ones out of here because I want to get these pink ones out look at this it's just not working for me look at that <laughs> ah dear got two all good all right because when I if you drop them or anyway so I've put a lot of mine in single boxes that I bought off Timu and then Valida gave me a really good idea yesterday, last night, about how to transfer them. Oh, goodness, without doing it like this, because this doesn't work very good. Not for me, at any rate. Other people might do. I just get too confused with it. I'm going to um, stop fiddling in there anyway and show you something in a different pot. Um, so I've been putting my beads into into these bags to start with until I get the um, containers that are like this see these ones so they're not very deep and you can get in your get your beads out all right the other ones are very annoying these are I can't open them um, and they're too deep this one here is really small the holes in them but I will probably use some for something and the rest I'm going to get rid of okay so Valida showed us this little magical thing right I made well, actually I did not make this Jeremy made it for me this morning because I was very impatient to do this <laughs> I really want to do this because I it's, I've been so long and so long trying to get my um, bed sorted so I've got I've got a lot of um, containers that are like these ones here in this box I've got two sets of big ones and I've got this little one and I'm putting my beads into this but now that I've got this thing here that we've got I can use these other containers that I've already ordered off Timu to put these smaller amounts of the, the little beads little beads in see they won't need to be in this bigger box unless of course I've got a lot then one's there they can stay in that box but I can put these into the smaller containers and then I'll have these for something else so I've got a few of them coming each one has got a lot of cells in it, you know, like putting a, each one of them's got a fair few. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. I don't know if that's the size I got. I think it is. But see, these are easy for me to get because I can just open the, this little bit in. in when I say that, look at that. I got it open. It's okay. It doesn't, it comes open eventually when, when I'm doing it. It will come open for me. So, And plus they're not as bulky as a store. But I do love this, what it is. Now, um, so I've got one of those and I've got three, one, two of the big ones and I've got another one coming and I've got the other stuff as well. So this here is magical, absolutely magical. It's um, fair dinkum brilliant. <laughs> okay. I also got myself a tray that I can transfer them to before I put them into the box. But today we're using a plastic bag because I don't have tray yet so all you do is you just suck on the end of this watch this can you see what I'm doing probably not okay uh -huh. you gotta hold it down in the beads a bit more Sonia look look at that isn't that cool <laughs> anyway I'll stop because there's more big ones in there and all you do, and you can transfer them too, because I've been doing that this morning. I'll take the lid off. 
she said that she seen it years ago when the kids were doing beading and she said that she couldn't find it again on YouTube or somewhere on Google. So she said she just got two and made herself one. And so Jeremy made me one. So I do have a couple of different odd things in there, but I will get them out. I love the colour of these beads. So you put the lid back on. And you... This is really difficult because of the... I didn't get this long enough, this bit here. I needed that a little bit longer. All I'm doing is sucking the end of this thing. If you can't see what I'm doing, because my big head might be in the road. And it's probably not going right to the bottom of there, because it's making it a little bit harder. But if I tip them, tip them all to the side in here, I'll be able to do it. It's only because of the container. There's nothing um, wrong with the thing itself. It's this... You beaut thing. I don't know why somebody's not marketing these because <laughs> they should be. They'd be very popular, I can tell you. Because you can spend hours doing this. Of course, mine drift into different, like that. They're, I think they're crimps actually, I don't think they're beads. There's some in there. So I'm going to get the rest of these out by pushing them all into the corner because I need to do that. I better put the top on. This is not going to work if I don't, will it? I'm just a bit excited about this. I really couldn't believe this when I seen this last night. I thought this is. A, I thought she talked about the vacuum cleaner, so I thought I'd go and have a look at them. But she said they weren't very good, so I didn't get one of those. That needs to be longer. That bottom bit. I don't know what you can see. It's me. <laughs> look, look at that. I got them all. Look, I got them. <laughs> I could have did more, but I need a bit longer stick on that. I'll get Jeremy to make me another one anyway, because, I don't know, just for fun, but I'm going to be playing around with this for a minute or two, I'd say, when I get... So they're in there. And now all I have to do is just tip, tip them in the pot when I get them and take out those couple of the ones that have got stuck in there by mistake. Just have, let's have another go. I'll go. I'll try these ones here now and show you these. These are a couple of different sizes, and I don't mind because I've got the same colour, and that's all that matters really to, to me in this, in this, with these anyway. So let's have a go. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying to get under the camera. <laughs> you just suck that. Whoops, got too many in there, so they're falling out the hole. Whoops, hang on, I should have stopped before I went too far. So they're coming out over the top of there, they're coming back out, see, so you've got to be careful. But they work, works really, really good, doesn't it? Doesn't it look cool? Anyway, I'm really pleased with this. Thank you, Valida. And I've also got a lot of little of these ones in here too, because they're straying off into their... I might leave that one and just do these few here and then I'm going to show you how it's made. I won't make one but I'll show you how it's made, okay? So I really wanted to do this. <clears throat> Back on here and I'm, I can see that some of these nice green ones are in with these darker green ones or darker bluey colour whatever. There's a bit of fluff on there and that happens too but the thing I got in there is not getting any fluff through. Here we go again. Okay. Look at that. This is amazing. I love it. Now there's a whole heap of green beads in this one, but I'm, I don't know if I'll be able to ever sort them through because look at it. There's a mixture. But I think it'll. I think it'll be okay. They're a colour that I might not use a lot of. They're sort of. A, they're a nice colour actually. They're a nice um, metallicy. Not. Ooh, they're not metallic but they're a nice colour. I do like them. We'll get the rest out. I'll have to give them another go because I don't want them to come over, over, over the hole. So maybe, because I only had this small container, like this little pot that I did it, we did it out of, so I've got a few of them that I had beads in and there was one just sitting next to me and I thought, oh, I want to make that thing. <laughs> and I tried and I told, asked Jeremy to find something for me the, the, um, and he said, oh, I'll do it. So off he went. Oh, 
Got him. <laughs> I'm a bit, I think it's good for your um, lung. <laughs> we could be exercised for your lungs, I suppose. <laughs> Isn't that terrific? Oh, and it doesn't hurt your hands. It doesn't cut, because, you know, I remember my thumb was all broken to pieces when the last time I was doing them. It was terrible. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so here it is. So what it's made out of is one of these, which I've lost one on the floor, but I've got to pick it back up, which your needles come in, that you buy on um, Timu or whatever. There are also things that they put your blood in, don't they? They look like when you get your blood test. So she used one of these, and so did we, me and Jeremy. We dropped one down beside the thing, but anyway. We also had a plastic pot. Now, if you've got something that's not brittle it's got to be something that's not a brittle plastic because the brittle plastic will break okay so you need something that's sort of soft not brittle and it's cut in half i'll cut the bottom off and then cut in half because the top stop is out of there he made with the um he used the what do you call it <laughs> soldering iron and made a hole in the bottom and he put a hole in the lid and he glued he glued the um, each piece on with a hot glue gun and then in the inside I put a bit of um, it's off of this I've got a bit of material off there and I've got two thicknesses I tried to glue it, it won't glue because there's plastic won't glue, the plastic won't hold glue and then I got a little tiny elastic band and I tied it around there and it's, you know, it's just a little bit holy so that the air can come through but the beads won't come through and then of course so you put your lid on I needed this one to be a bit longer so maybe, and you need to have it up a bit in there because if you don't have it up reasonably deep it, you'll lose them, you know, they'll go back down there so you want to Make sure you put it. You probably need something a bit longer than one of these, or I don't know what I, the pot might be. It was different to what Valida's had because hers was a lot longer that way. This pot was bigger, it was probably that, that long. And maybe if I had a bit bigger, a little container, that I could do that. But that's all it is, really. It's just it's made by yourself. There's one little bird caught in there, but he's stuck there so he can stay there. But that's all you do, you just. Um, if you can't solder, if you haven't got a solder and iron thing, you just put a hole with a hot needle or something through it till it's right, or drill through a hole. But the solder and iron worked really well because it just melts it back and then you just put it into the size this was. And then you just shook through there and do what, what I did, and that's it. And isn't that good? Belita, thank you very, very much for showing us how to do this. You know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to try sequence because I have sequins around about everywhere and I want to move them and I've got all those so I want to move all these things out so I'm going to have a go at the sequins I'm sure it'll work I can't see why it wouldn't so we're going to just I'll lift this up this one's not not quite as deep I don't think and two if the sequins is a bit bigger in the hole of course it won't fit through but these are not so I fill up too far they'll start coming out. Like that. <laughs> oh, it's, it doesn't take <laughs> much to excite me, obviously. <laughs> but this is good. This is really good. You know, this is really good. Look at that. I had to keep putting my hands in there and getting things stuck to me, like cutting. Because that's what happened to me before, because when you get a tiny bit older, you do get, you know, you do have a little bit of trouble with your little skin. Your skin's only very fine. And it's not, or well, even if you're only young, you still get yourself into a, a bother. But anyway, so we'll get the rest of these out. That's not on straight. I'm going to fix that. Whoops. I'm sorry if you can't see what I'm doing. You can imagine, okay? Just, I'm just sucking it, sucking through there, and it's coming up through there. 
and we've got most of them. There's only a couple left in the pot, in the box. So I have a few to do, but what did have out of there? You, where did you come from? I wonder. There's another one too. But as you're transferring them over, you can just take out the ones that are not supposed to be in there. I've lost him. Yeah. Come on. It is good fun. I don't know if it'll pick them up. They're too big. They've got these bigger sequins, but they won't go through the hole because of the size of these. I don't think. Look, oh, it might do. Oh, goodness, made a fibre out of me. Actually, I think it might be stuck in there. It is too, because I put it in the... I put it in the wrong end. <laughs> Sonia. <laughs> ah. Can I get that out? Come on. Oh, come on. I don't want to take that bottom bit off there. Now push that right down in there. Goodness me. This is not what something not to do. This is what not to do. Don't put your sequence in the pot up the wrong way. Come on. Gotcha. Right. I'll let you beat me. Anyway, that's just really sturdy how that is on there. Really sturdy. So that size sequence doesn't fit. I don't think these will either. These ones with the flowers, they mightn't go up there either. So I don't think I'll try them as well. I don't think. These are a nice bead too. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, that was that today. I don't know what else I wanted to tell you about. I can't remember. I know I found an awful lot of beads and things though that I forgot I had. So um, I've got a lot to, to do. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching and I hope you've enjoyed that. And Belita Reynolds is her, her channel name is... I don't remember now, but I definitely will put up the link, I promise you, okay? And you go and see what she done, how she did hers, because hers is a little bit more, um, well, a bit bigger, so it'll, it'll be a bit easier, but mine works just fine too. I just, I'm just i just thinking about the length of that thing. It should be a tiny bit longer for, to go down into the pots if you've got anything too deep, but I don't think I do. I think those ones there might be the... The, the biggest ones I got to go in to. But anyway, thank you everybody for watching and thank you very much, Valida, for your absolutely wonderful idea. We'll talk to you later. Bye bye.